This video is CPAP, Sleepyhead Software. So you had your CPAP machine for a while, and it's time to go see the doc and see how you're doing. And you think you're doing pretty good. Then you see the doctor. The doctor takes your SD card out of your machine, puts it into his computer. The doctor looks at the data for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then they usually come up with a chart, looking something like this. It tells you the different types of apnea events that you have. And the first time you'll see this, you'll think, oh my. And the doctor might say something like, well, maybe it's time to fit you with a different type of mask. Keep in mind, a chart like this, by its nature, cannot be perfect. So the doctor sets you up with a new mask fitting, and you don't see him for another six months. So what took you six months to create, the doctor has gone over in 15 minutes. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to see your data on a daily basis and know how your machine is actually working? Well, that's where Sleepyhead software comes in. Now, a quick disclaimer. I don't work for Sleepyhead Software, nor do I recommend that everybody do this. But it's a neat way to see how you're doing on a daily basis. And if your mask starts to leak, or your hose starts to leak, you'll know immediately. So how do you find Sleepyhead Software? Well, I just went to Google, typed in Sleepyhead Software, and it took me to sleepyfiles.com slash sh2. From here, I just downloaded the installer. Once the software was installed... The first thing you have to do is create a profile. You make up a username and a password. Once you create the profile, it'll take you to this page. Now you take your SD card out of your machine and plug it into your computer. Now click on File, Import Data. And that'll pull up something like this. You'll notice that the file name is exactly the same as the serial number on your machine. At this point, hit Choose. It'll give you a little pop-up window that looks something like this, with the file name or your serial number in the brackets. Once you get back to this screen, now your file has been imported to the computer. The first thing I always do is I click on Daily. Now there's lots of data here, and this tells you exactly how you slept last night according to the machine. Now if we look at the preliminary data, you'll see that I went to sleep on the 3rd about 1 o'clock in the morning. And then you see the gap right thereafter. I had one mask event a little bit after 3 o'clock in the morning. And that most likely was caused by rolling over or something like that, where I slightly moved the mask. You'll have stuff like that. Looks like I had one like that as well, about 4.20 in the morning. And another little gap about 5 o'clock in the morning. The other area I like to check is the stats area. This area will give you such things as average hours of sleep per night, how compliant you are to using the CPAP machine, as well as therapy efficiency and leak stats, which basically tells you how good your mask is. If this number goes up, it may be time to change the mask or the mask seal. And your pressure stats. The minimum and maximum are usually set by a prescription. If you see drastic changes in any of these numbers, it may be time to call your physician. And that's Sleepyhead Software. I hope this video has been helpful.